Yeah, man, shit, we back talking more shit. Got new money in here. Yes, quarantine. sir. New Ooh. money. Quarantine shit going on, dog. I had to come tap in with my nigga little. Yeah. Like, fuck it, nigga. Rap, rap. The rap game is the rap game. You still got to keep shit going, dog. Yeah, you know what I'm it's good, though, because I'm tired of talking to myself, man. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm so yeah. lonely at this bitch. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but nah, um, I had to get your opinion on this shit as an artist, man, and, and a nigga in the world. Mm -hmm. The black cash reparations for black people. The topic came up again on a Vlad TV interview I saw today with uh, him and Mob James. Yeah. And the thing is with me, bro, I ain't here to hate on like a Vlad or hate on niggas who doing this shit. It's just, hey, yeah. this is the content creating business. They be having ideas of content, uh, of shit on other people. I got ideas, you know. I mean, they got opinions when they hear people say shit. Yeah. And they talk about those opinions. So I'm going to come with mine too. Not to mention since Vlad has let it be known that he be, he, his <laughs> team is subscribed yeah. to the urban politicians. Make sure y'all subscribe, man, for real. Because... Shit, he gotta be that took your shit. Yeah, you know I'm saying no, no. I'm saying I know now for a fact. Mm, so his mm. team, he might not see this personally. Right, right. His team gonna see it. Somebody on his team is gonna yeah, see it. That's right. And whether they tell him where they got the, got it from or not, yeah. it's still gonna be my shit. But uh, whatever. Basically, this black cash reparation shit, bro. You know, for the people that don't know, Vlad made a comment last year on Twitter and said that. He feels that black people should should receive cash reparations, maybe in the form of free education, possibly mm -hmm. in the form of free education. I didn't like it. A lot of people didn't like it. And he you know he ended up going to do content about it. Right. And I just want to put it out there and make it clear that, bro, he did say possibly. That's a fact. He didn't say this is how it should be. Yeah. This is the only way. He said possibly mm. at that time, and he's still saying possibly now, but for you to have a suggestion at all how we should receive I, it. I don't even know how he opens his mouth about this type of shit. Yeah, no, no. I'm being real, <laughs> and it's, people can call it bias, call it what you want. This ain't for, you can have your opinion, but understand as a white person in this situation, y'all don't have, y'all opinion is not valid in any form or fashion. Yeah. Y'all are the reason, that your ancestors are the reason this is going on. Yeah. So it's like, in your ancestors' opinion, they felt that we should be slaves. <laughs> your ancestors, your ancestors' opinions, they should rape our grandmothers. Your ancestors' opinions, let's be clear, let's bring it to 1965. We can't <laughs> drink from the same water fountain as y'all. Oh, yeah, 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 that was fucked up. So can we get as good as, we can't drink from the water fountains, y'all? Y'all think they finna pay us some good money? We can't live next to y'all? We can't eat where y'all at? We can't, all that shit. We can't sit in the same part of the bus as y'all. So that was your ancestors' opinion. Right. Call it bias, but in this situation, man, should no white person be speaking on no reparation shit, bro. White, Russian, Asian, met, Hispanic, if you not black and your people did not go through the 400 years of, of slavery that we talking about, yeah. this ain't for you. It ain't personal, but it just ain't for you. Nah, for real. So, you know, he came back, the shit came back up again. Godfrey set him straight on that shit. Let's be clear. Give Godfrey his props. I follow Godfrey on Instagram. Uh, That's the comedian? Yes, yeah, the comedian. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Godfrey. You know, Godfrey set them straight when they sat down and talked about it. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is how now you got some people that say, oh, man, if you get that money to black people, even Ma James said it, which is true. We probably going to blow it. Yeah. A lot of us are probably going to blow the money because <laughs> yeah. you never had that type of money before. Mm -hmm. But, hey, you're going to have leaders and you're going to have followers. The leaders are going to get the opportunity to go create. Because right. just as many people blow it, it's going to be a motherfucking shitload of who really start yes, legitimate right. businesses mm. on their own. Yep. Creating their own digital. Somebody right now is sitting with the information. They just don't have a business mindset to have their own motherfucking company that could go to Silicon Valley and blow a lot of shit out the water. Yeah. 
There's a lot of apps that take money created by black people. All this shit created by black people. Some people got the idea, but they ain't got the money to fund the idea. Yeah. So I just look at this shit like now, nah, nigga. You coming in. Don't even give them people, and this is no knock on Miles James, but don't even give them the idea that that's an excuse. We're going to blow the money anyways. <laughs> it don't matter what the fuck we're going to do with the money. Yeah. The shit already happened. Reparations is to fix what already happened. It don't matter if a nigga want to go to school or not. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck how many people get a job who go to college. Like, Vlad's making that point. You know, this many people are successful who go to college. Yeah. Whether we go to college or not, the money should be able to spend how the fuck they want to spend it. Like I said, exactly. he did say possibly, possibly college, but at the end of the day, fuck college if a nigga don't want to go to college. Yeah. If he blow it, that's on him. But we not, why we got to roll the dice to see, oh, man, are they going to blow it or they ain't? 80% of the country or whatever percent of the country is against cash reparations, so that's probably not going to happen. Of course <laughs> they're against, of course they're against cash reparations, bro, because mm -hmm. it gives us the opportunity to get on the same playing field. Yeah. If you give every black person in America an acre, like fuck it, he go a so two acres. Yeah. Oh, how many acres is a house? Yeah. What one? Whatever. <laughs> Let's say you say you're gonna give every black person an acre mm -hmm. and a hundred thousand or fifty thousand. But guess what? If you give them an acre, they have a chance to say, hey, I wanna sell my land. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I want to build on it or create my own business and da da da, da yeah. And then give them the same, give us the same loans that, mm -hmm. that you know, the, the, the Caucasians, the, the pink people get. Yeah. I, I'm trying to say it because I don't like just using white. So I say pink. <laughs> it's no offense. You know what I'm saying? Because the word white, white just sound right. So I be like pink people. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> white people call Chinese people yellow. I know. Nah, oh shit, that is racist. That's racist. That's racist as fuck, bro. They don't say that shit. Oh no. But okay. Cause I don't really want to make this a black and white thing, bro, but mm -hmm. it's hard not to. Yeah. I'm trying to make it a right for wrong, a fair and unfair, not a uh I, uh, I just I see what you're saying though. Yeah, so so give our people the same loan as the other people get. Make sure we get the get the same. Uh, yes is on loans. You right. feel me? Mm -hmm. So whatever people want to do with their money, that's their choice whether they gonna blow it or not. So basically, the thing that I have, the problem I have with what Vlad said in this interview uh -huh. with God for with the uh, with Mob James was the pandemic is going on. This is essentially the same thing when uh, cash. I mean, when uh, when they clear out, you know. Uh, Long, when they do loan forgiveness, they do loan forgiveness for colleges and student debt. They they letting them. They I don't even see forgiveness. I see they pushing. They like pushing the dates. Like right. It was only two trillion dollars too. Let's be clear, two trillion dollars. Now they already saying that money's no longer there. They don't right. have their money anymore for shit like that. And then the motherfucking uh the other shit, the small business. Yeah, long been helping them out. Helping them out. They mm -hmm. said that shit ran out. Mm. So what about the people who had a business that you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So th this is the point that I'm making. The point that I'm making is fuck all the other shit. Don't compare none of this. This is a pandemic that's out of black people's hands, and plus the whole country is getting rewarded. This right, right. The whole country. Totally different. It's not you like you can't, it's, mix the you can't mix the two. Don't even compare the two. Yeah. Don't even compare the two. I heard they gave Ruth Chris 20 million. Who's Ruth Chris? That's the state place. That shit weak though. What? 20 million, nigga. Damn. I heard they gave Ruth Chris 20 million. That's what I heard. That's, That's wrong. crazy. But I'm saying, Ruth Chris is not a man. That shit the bottom of the chain to me, nigga. Real talk. I I ain't eat Ruth Chris no more. Yeah, I ain't even. I ain't never heard nobody no, talk about. But it. they they cool. They was lit at one point, but now, nigga, we got State Forty Eight. State Forty Eight. We sweet. got Maestro, nigga. We got State Forty Eight. Nigga got Eddie V's, bro. That shit weak for what they charge, nigga. Eddie V's for the steak and lobster, nigga. We yeah, mm -hmm. nigga. We going to big, but mm -hmm. we going to that shit now. We got all Texas Texas <laughs> steaks, man. They got all type of shit, man. Yeah. yeah. 
Mm. Uh, but I, I'm saying that shit to say, bro, really, why is this even being brought up right now? Well, it got brought up to Vlad and his credit. It got brought up in an interview because they partnered Reggie White, who was a, a, a crooked cop, who was a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> um, you a bitch because you 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 talk this tough shit on camera mm -hmm. and you were a lawman and then you go to jail for selling drugs illegally. I know I know what you're talking about crooked yeah. cop. The shit that was with yeah, Tupac yeah, yeah. and them. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, crooked cop, nigga, you the worst of the worst, mm -hmm. nigga. Not only is you shit going against the grain with the tag with the force that's here to like destroy your people. Yeah. Then you go do some crooked shit too, and you go to prison. And so they getting on his ass because he mad because he like man I introduced you to Vlad Bob James because yeah. Bob James and became a star off that Vlad TV show. Oh okay. So he like man I introduced you to Vlad, and, you know I guess he like man y'all don't give me enough credit when y'all <laughs> speak. A bitch ass nigga. But uh, what do you expect from a crooked cop? Yeah. Y'all thought a crooked cop was a solid nigga? Like, yeah. come on, nigga. Vlad. That nigga's uh, a rat. He's a rat, nigga. You two faced it, nigga. You all the way two faced it, nigga. That's just what it is. You play both sides. Yeah. You can't trust people who play both sides in no form or fashion. And then these old ass try to talk tough, too. Mm hmm. Cut bro, it out. Cut confused. It out. Cut it out, bro. That's confusing. Oh, That's confusing. So. With Vlad, you know, they got to talking about it because Reggie White made a comment about Mob James like taking it easy on Vlad about his reparations topic last year. Because he talked about Mob James about it. Okay. So I guess Reggie White was like, oh, you didn't really let Vlad have it for the reparations comment. So that's I guess that's why Vlad brought it up. That is why Vlad brought it up in his interview. But at the same time, don't think this pandemic got nothing to do with with the same thing as reparations, my nigga. Right. They made this shit, this this choice to make mm -hmm. give people the slaves. And I want to take it back from the slave days. Let's talk about Jim Crow days too. The Jim Crow laws. The Jim Crow laws, my nigga. Segregation. Black people need reparations for that too, nigga. And that's directly my grandparents at this point. Yeah. My tea lady, fifty five. My granny, seventy. My granny couldn't drink water. From the water fountains, my nigga. Damn. Think about the PTSD they went through with that shit. We talking PTSD and mental health now, right? Everybody on the mental health case now, right? Mm -hmm. what, what was our ancestors' mental health like at that time, bro? They walking outside, don't know if one of these motherfucking country backwood motherfuckers gonna rape them or right. kidnap them. Mm -hmm. They picking on kids at school. You know what I'm saying? They hanging niggas on some lynch, on some lynch shit. Yeah. What are reparations there for that shit? So as far as I'm concerned, we need reparations up to motherfucking Jim Crow days in. <laughs> so let's stop trying to act like this is some far-fetched shit. That was only 55 years ago, nigga. Yup. That was 55. That's young, nigga. Yeah, yeah, that ain't That's fresh. Right. Yeah. Nigga, we just missed that. We just missed that point, nigga, yeah. where... Nigga, we was finna have to not be able to drink water. We need reparations yeah. for that too, my nigga. We and how my nigga wanna spend it, nigga can spend it. That's on him. But understand, there are just as many dumb niggas as there are smart niggas. Shit show. Every black nigga understand that. We got a high population of dumb niggas. It's a lot of but, dumb dummies. A lot but of it's a lot of black smart motherfuckers who graduate college every year, who get straight A's in school. Yup. Nigga, look at all these, even in the hood, nigga, you got hood, <coughs> hood charter schools and shit. All them hood charter schools and yeah. shit like that. So, that's all I'm saying, man. I had to come address Vlad on that shit one time, dog. Let nigga know, bro, keep that reparation shit off task, bro. Like, man. that's not, not for niggas to speak on unless we getting the money. I don't give a fuck how we gonna spend it. I don't give a fuck what we gonna do with it. That's on us. They got no opinion in that. And another thing. And I wish I would have said this in the beginning. Don't say they ain't got the fucking money. Because they uh, just, these trillions of dollars getting given away. Yeah. They don't got that shit. Yeah. That shit fake. That shit been gone. That money gone, nigga. You don't got the cash to back it up. You don't got the land. And you don't got the gold. The money is not in the Federal Reserve. Y'all are just typing in zeros, nigga. It's digital money. It's just, it's di it's just you know, I don't even want to call it digital money. Because when it's real digital money, you still got something to back it up. Yeah. This shit is no different from a scammer putting fake money in an account. 
You see what I'm saying? Uh, That's all this shit is. <laughs> My point. That's all I'm saying. If you can make up fake money for this, yeah. you can make up fake money for cash reparations. For everybody. For everybody. That it was affected in their blood. Really? To Jim Crow. Fuck slavery. Not saying fuck slavery like fuck slavery, but if you could go back to the time of nigga the Jim Crow, yeah. everybody who parents or grandparents were affected by Jim Crow, which is pretty much everybody that's living right now, yeah. should get a check too. Not just slavery. So Ados, motherfucking Lord Jamar, motherfucking Godfrey, let's end the reparations talk of just to slavery. Our people should receive that shit for segregation too and Jim Crow laws. And they can make the fake money just how they made the fake money for the bullshit that $1,200 checks they sent out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. calling them bullshit because that ain't enough Yeah. for somebody with kids, bro. And you know, I don't give a fuck if you gave them an extra five. You know they, you know they don't want to give them nothing either. No, not no more. They gonna bring this country out. They gonna open this bitch right on up. We gonna get into that. We gonna get into that.